All right, everybody. Welcome back to Ma Pop Sports. This is Grandy. If this is your first time here, welcome. Appreciate you guys checking out the channel, checking out this video. If you guys are returning, welcome back, guys. I'm finally back. Uh, sorry, I was, uh, I, I guess you can say a hiatus. I was gone for the uh, Denver Card Show up there in Thornton, just a suburb of Denver, Colorado, just a little bit north of there. So uh, I was super busy all weekend and uh, just prepping for it and just kind of, you know, doing sales deals things like that so uh, we'll, we'll jump right into it uh but if you guys like i said if this is your first time here uh this is just kind of a a video a channel uh, i guess you can say of me taking my journey of selling sports cards full time for a living uh whether at sports card shows or my ebay store so make sure you guys check out the ebay store links in the description i'm trying to list as many cards as i can on a daily basis uh, that's my primary source i guess you can say of revenue and i do sh card shows every so often so so just kind of give you guys a heads up on that so let's kind of recap it my thoughts of the hobby everything uh hopefully it won't be too long of a video but there's there's many things that i i took away from this card show for sure um first and foremost the very first thing i noticed this card show uh obviously it was a two-day show saturday and sunday it was a lot more of collectors guys i felt like um, I guess you guys can say the sharks or those repackers. I barely saw any. So a lot of people are saying, uh, you know, repackers are buying up everything. I don't know. It's because if it's a smaller show than the previous month, uh, last month was a three day is one of the biggest shows here in Denver, but, uh, it was more of a collector show. So, I mean, to me personally, I appreciated this a little bit more. The reason being was to see the happiness on specific people buying cards um because it was like oh that was the card i was looking for dude that card is super sick that's a that's a player that's a guy i i collect and that that's all i do and um negotiation wasn't even a, a thing they were just collecting guys so that was super cool that was the number one thing i definitely noticed uh repackers weren't there the sharks i guess you guys can say i didn't see them at least as much um the i guess you say the downside of that revenue stream like total revenue wise i felt like uh was quite a bit lower maybe because like i just said there wasn't three days however profit margin wise i felt it was a little bit higher because it was just the end in buyer because they were buying stuff that they collecting they don't need to flip it um so depending on how you look at things uh, I like I was telling my wife, I felt like, you know, revenue stream wise, it was a little bit lower, but profit stream wise, I felt like it was a little bit higher. Um, overall happiness of the buyer wise and me as a seller, um, I felt it was more engaging. I, I truly appreciated it more uh, being at this show because a lot of people, it, it was the people who really keep this hobby going. So that's how I felt about it. That was the, the main gist of it. Um, would I have appreciated more revenue sales? Of course, who wouldn't have? But I still felt like it was well worth it. Uh, I did enough to where it covered my weekend's expenses. It covered the table expenses and, and time-wise. So I definitely did good. I did move things. Uh, I did purchase some too. Uh, I Obviously, I didn't spend as much as I wanted to. And the reason being was because I think I was just a little bit more busy talking to people uh, about sports, sports cards. Um, I didn't really get a chance to... To, to buy anything I you know or lots or anything like I, I wanted to uh, this is the thing if you guys have never done a car show by yourself um, for you know a two-day show it's tough to to leave your table because one you don't want to lose out on sales because people are walking around who knows if they're gonna come back uh, two is just difficult because you have all your inventory left there uh, you're by yourself you need to go to the restroom or grab some a bite to eat it's, it, it's really tough uh, to understand that not having and, and hopefully you have you know neighbors who can help in which I did I, I forgot those two gentlemen's names that helped watch my table when I needed to go to the restroom grab something to eat real quick or grab some water um, but those are the biggest things so if you can do a show with two people obviously it'd be great if not you know is what it is so hopefully uh you befriend a neighbor so that that was probably the most difficult part uh because i didn't get a chance to really walk around the only time you get a chance so this is what i recommend if you're doing a show 
um, try to get there early, set up early, so you can kind of walk around before the the VIP or the show actually opens, so you can kind of talk to some other dealers and, and hopefully make some deals if you're looking to buy anything. Um, you know, that that would be my recommendation. Or at the end of the show, trade night. I didn't get a chance to go to trade night. Another thing that if you've never done a show and you have family, uh, it takes your whole weekend, guys. So you know, I didn't get a chance. I, you know, the biggest thing was I, I missed. M- my daughter's basketball game i'm the coach for it so i kind of missed that so it was kind of a bummer uh, i didn't get a chance to be a part of that so uh, i'm gonna honestly i'm gonna probably schedule things around uh my kids schedule because you know the biggest reason why i'm doing sports cars full-time if you don't know is because i have children you know 11 and under four of them and um i don't want to miss those things those are those are are to me, it's priceless things to miss time. So uh, I'm gonna try and reschedule things. So I'm actually not gonna do an in-person show uh, next month of July. And th- that's the reason being, because my daughter has uh, basketball games on the weekends. And then my other daughters, they also have golf lessons, things like that. So I don't wanna miss those type of things because to me, like I just said, it's priceless times I get to spend with my children. And um, the weekends for the card shows, obviously that's when they happen. So it was kind of tough on that. So. There you guys go on that end. Uh, Little tidbits to, you know, if you get a chance to, you know, keep in mind if you're looking to do your show the first time. So those are things. Now, what was moving? What was selling? What were people buying? Uh, What I felt like was moving quite a bit. Uh, Victor Wimbayama was moving like crazy. I felt like raw or slabs, his stuff was selling. Uh, Football was moving pretty good too. And I moved quite a bit of uh, the wax that I was able to to, to, to kind of flip on that end. So, um, but then again, like I said, I priced my stuff accordingly. I did not overprice things, whether it was wax cards, um, because I was there to make deals, guys. I was there to, to, to move stuff. Uh, football definitely was moving still quite a bit. Uh, I felt like a lot of the basketball that was moving was a lot of Victor Wimbayama and just old goats i would say people like kobe bryant moved pretty well um i felt like michael jordan stuff moved really well for me uh so those were the kind of the things that moved well in basketball baseball i didn't really have any baseball slabs but it was just a slab and wax weekend for me uh football did move quite well once again uh, a lot of um deals that i did was for quarterbacks of course a lot of autos um this is the one thing i think People are still looking for a lot of those autos, whether raw or graded guys. So um, I felt like a lot of autos sticker. I, I don't think it really mattered what was on card or sticker because usually people are, are peculiar of on card, on card. Uh, I felt like this weekend, people didn't really care if it was an auto and it was graded great. They're going to, you know, they're going to buy it. Same thing with the raw, if it was sticker or on card. I don't think people were as picky um, in my eyes in regards to that. Uh, another thing was, oh, the other uh, crazy thing is a lot of people are still buying is Caitlin Clark. Uh, Caitlin Clark was very difficult to find. I don't think I saw one auto card of Caitlin Clark at the show, which was kind of crazy. Uh, her stuff was flying again and college basketball, I, I felt like it's still moving quite a bit. Um, the upcoming class football would move quite a bit too. I saw, I felt like, uh, Caleb Williams, JJ McCarthy, I felt like was moving good. Uh, Bo Nix, uh, I felt like Penix was moving good. So a lot of the new class guys, I know their professional stuff isn't out, but their college stuff was moving really good. So I think coming up for the, the season and everything, I have a feeling those guys are still going to continuously move, especially with the, uh, training camps starting especially with preseason going to start pretty soon. So be on the lookout. Uh, right now, it's what, end of mid June, end of June, beginning of July. If it, this is what my play is. So I, follow it if you want. Don't do it if you don't want to. I'm going to be stocking up on a lot of football, uh, especially with the, you know, the Bowman Chrome University, things like that. I'm going to be stocking up as much as I can on that. Uh, I'm going to be stocking up on a lot of quarterbacks um, and just positional players and everything uh, that just happened at a draft. And the reason being because I have a feeling uh, once July and August hits, those guys are going to be popping off. And at at least that's what I'm anticipating. Whether I'm right or wrong, I'll let you guys know at the end of August. We'll see where I'm at on that. So, uh, but that's my guess. Football still moving really good. Uh, do I feel, because, you know, some people were just asking me, do I still feel uh, the hobby is strong? Is it still moving forward? Uh, I feel like yes. 
I feel like, you know, like I was mentioning earlier, there wasn't many repackers there today, uh, this weekend. I felt like it was just true collectors. Uh, traffic was very, very good. Uh, one last thing that I recommend if you're getting into the trading card realm, whatever, Pokemon, guys. Um, I, I, the two gentlemen next to me uh, were busier than heck, and they did a lot of Pokemon stuff. I don't do Pokemon because I just don't know it. I try to give it a shot. I may try to give it another shot, but I'm telling you guys, Pokemon is on fire. It's going to be continuously on fire i was just talking to them and um there's just so much movement in that realm i don't know it very well i wish i did uh but it's just one of those things where people are like you need to get in into it guys if i really wanted to do this just for money yeah i would have but i'm not in this for the money so i can't just do pokemon because it, you know the money's there i get that but it's not my interest so it's not fun to me i can't expect myself to do something that it's not fun or I don't enjoy. So, and I was telling the guy that he goes, I totally understand that because I enjoy sports cards. I love talking sports. I love sports. To have me just to do Pokemon just for, you know, just for the, the dollar bill, it wouldn't make sense to me because it's just not something I enjoy. So I can't, you know, that's that's the way it is. But if you're getting into it, if you're just getting into it to, for money, I highly recommend Pokemon because those guys were busy. They were making tons of money, tons of deals. So other than that, man, it was a great show. I can't wait for the next one. I'll probably do August. Like I said, I'm going to take a whole July off. A lot of family trips, a lot of family activities, things like that. I'm still going to be listing tons of stuff on my eBay store. Uh, I am going to be picking up some more lots, obviously. Uh, and so there you guys go. If you guys want to help me out, support me, feel free to check out, buy something cheap, make an offer on any cards on the eBay store. I really appreciate that. Other than that, man, hopefully if you guys enjoyed this stuff, feel free to subscribe. If you have not subscribed, you watched this far. I still appreciate you guys. Like I said, I still feel... The hobby is very strong. I still feel it's still moving forward. Um, I don't see any decline quite yet. Who knows with the economy? Who knows with, you know, how things will happen? So we'll, we'll see where that goes. Other than that, man, until next time, have a good rest of the week, guys. Steph Curry. Steph Curry. Steph Curry. Kaylin Clark. There you guys go. There you go. Those are my girls.